Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another shit tutorial by me, Matman. What are we talking about today? Well, <laughs> I've got something exciting for everyone today. Today, we are going to upgrade the Web TV hard drive and prepare it for installing the custom Hack TV build. So it's 2021 and the hard drives on the web tv plus web tv echo star they're getting they're getting old and they're getting uh they're dying so today i thought you know hey let's uh let's show everybody how to uh replace the hard drive with an sd card so first thing you want to do you go to my website and you can download the custom hack tv build from uh from a few places but you can just go to the uh web tv emulator actually i'll just put a link to to this page down in the description and um just scroll down and you find uh whatever web tv you have if you have the original Web TV Plus, or if you have the uh, Web TV Plus Derby, or if you have the Echo Star. So you download uh, whatever one of those you need. And um, here's some model numbers up here that tell you, uh, you know, which ones you w would have. So you grab that. And next thing you're going to want is you're going to want one of these. It's it's a uh, $12.99. So this is the one that I I have. There's there's a uh, different brands out there and stuff. So this says there's only one left in stock. So if this particular one is gone, just get something similar. It's just a uh oh, excuse me. It's just a SD card to IDE 40 pin mail adapter so you grab that <clears throat> and uh, basically what we're going to do is replace the old web TV hard drive with one of these now I think it was back in 2013 or 2014 when I first did a tutorial on how to uh, install the hack TV build but um, I was using the original hard drive and <clears throat> it's weird too because uh, using these adapters, uh, various adapters, whether it be this or for uh, a SATA drive or whatever, all these methods have been known for years. And I should have done a tutorial about this right away because I didn't realize, you know, a lot of people don't have old computers and, you know, it's not, they're not readily available to everybody most people have modern computers so hooking an old ID drive up to uh, a modern computer you know can be a pain in the ass you'd have to buy adapters anyway so you may as well get this because this this just makes things all a lot easier so grab this grab the uh, the custom build and um, yeah so I'll be right back and I'll sh you know show you how to hook it up it's pretty simple it's just absolutely just plug in uh, unplug old hard drive plug in new thing so uh, I'll be right back and um, I'll just show you that real quick all right I am back and so here's my web TV plus and somewhere in this mess is the adapter so here's the adapter let me just unplug that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's the adapter. And uh, you don't have to do what I did here. I cut a, a little slot on the side there so that I have access to the SD card um, when the cover is back on. But you don't have to do anything fancy. You just, you literally just plug the uh, ID cable 
right into this adapter and uh, you're all set you just here's the old drive you just take that out put new thing in it's that simple plug it in make sure uh, the Molex uh, connector is plugged in and you're ready to go man you're ready to rock so now um, yeah now I'll be right back and I will show you how to install the the uh, custom build onto the SD card okay I'm back again so get yourself an SD card um, my particular uh, adapter that I bought uses a full-size SD card, but they do have ones that um, use the uh, mini SD card. So basically all you're going to do is, actually I'm going to use um, this one here. Boop. So, and yeah, you can get away with a four gig or you can get away with a one gig uh, SD card if you got one freaking laying around. Um, if you don't have any laying around, I'll uh, I'll show you the, um, the ones that I bought. They were pretty cheap and they worked pretty good. So yeah, you're going to obviously need an SD card reader. Um, I didn't have one on my computer, so I just ripped this out of uh, some old ass computer. And just kind of, uh, you know, cob job, uh, cob job things to get it to work. But I mean, they have. Uh, hold on here. And bear with me. Bear with me. If you don't have an SD card reader on your computer. Um, well, shit, I don't have... Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, if you don't want have one on your computer, you can just get something something like that. You know, one of these bad boys, just a SD to USB ad adapter thing. Oops. And uh, you can do that. Um, some of them are shit, though. Like, so this particular one here... Even though you can plug it into your computer, it reads the SD card, all that happy stuff. Um, I noticed that it wasn't writing the image properly to the SD card, so it was causing me problems. So that's why I had to use a, a different SD card reader. You might not have that problem if you get something similar to this, but um, I think it's just mine's really super old, so um, that's probably why. I don't, I don't know. Anyways... I'll be back and I'll show you the SD cards that I bought off Amazon and then I'll show you how to install the uh, Hack TV custom build. All right, I'm back. And uh, so here's the SD cards that I purchased on Amazon. And, you know, they're okay. Uh, you get two of them for 10 bucks. I mean, that's pretty cheap. Uh, they were, what are they, 32 gigabytes. I mean, definitely overkill for the web TV, but, um, I mean, for 10 bucks, you know, for two of them, you know, don't get much cheaper than that. So, these ones are okay. Now, um, different SD cards are going to perform differently. So, I've actually had, these ones say they're class 10. I don't know if I freaking believe it. I think it's some kind of bullshit, because... These particular ones are actually ever so slightly slower than the original hard drive. But it's not a big deal. Like, it's fine. Um, you're probably not going to notice. But there's some SD cards that are just shit fucking slow. Like, I'm talking dog ass slow. You don't want that. Um, and then there's some that are faster than the original hard drive. Like, you know, you'll notice a little bit of speed improvement. Um... So I've had people say, oh, I, I put a class four in mine and mine's faster than the original hard drive. So, I mean, your mileage may vary. These are the ones I use. They work pretty good, ever so slightly slower than the hard drive. But, um, I mean, most people just have SD cards laying around anyway. So you probably have something laying around 
that'll uh, that'll probably work just fine. So, anyways, get your SD card. Um, you got. Well, let's see. We got to plug it in. Uh, bear with me for a moment, my friends. Okay. I, th I thought I had already done this, but we're doing it again. So plug your SD card into the computer. And uh, so now that file that you downloaded off of me, you're going to open that up with uh, 7-Zip. Um, I do have 7-Zip available to download as well. So open it up. Extract it. Um, I already extracted it, but whatever. Okay, so now you have it extracted. So now you're going to open up uh, WinHex. I have WinHex available, full version. Uh, you can download that. I prefer using WinHex. Um, I've been using it for many years. You could probably use other stuff, but I use WinHex. I like WinHex. Um, so, yeah, let's open up WinHex. Let's see here. Boop. All right. Um, run it as an administrator. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna want to do that. So do that, and we're gonna just gonna go, we're gonna go to uh, file and restore image, and we gotta browse to the image. Where the hell did I put that? Um, and here and there, over here. Um, down there, over there, well, that's not it, um, what the hell is it, it's in there, okay, so, alright, click OK, so now it wants to select the target disk, so that's going to be your SD card, so you, you know, just look around and find it, there's mine, click OK, and so you got your source, which should be the image that you downloaded from me. And then you have the destination, which should be your SD card. Uh, you can keep all this stuff the way I have it here. And click OK. And it's going to be like, are you sure you want to click OK? And it's going to go, integrity, yeah, severely damaged. Rawr. OK. One one last, it's gonna yell at me one last time. No backups are made in the sectors and the um, overwrite and the uh, 20 megabyte blah. Okay, and off it goes. So it shouldn't take long. Uh, what's this saying? Three minutes. So about three minutes, and um, and uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in, in three minutes. Okay, I'm back. It's just about finished. Yay! All right, we're done. So this thing will pop up here. Successfully copied. Blah blah blah. I'll tell you some stuff. Whatever. Close it. Click OK. Close that out. Close WinHex. And uh, that's it. Take the SD card out of your computer, and uh, we're gonna pop it in the uh, Web TV. We're gonna fire it up. So I'll be back in in another two seconds. Okay, I am back. So now, we are going to insert the SD card into our web TV. Bada boosh. And, um, take the web TV over to our web TV test bench. And we'll plug it in. Do, 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 do. Um, plug it in. There we go. We see got some little lights going on here. So we'll just plug in some video. Plug in one of these audio plugs. Bloop. And um, uh, lights are blinking, so that's that's a good sign. The lights blinking. That's a good sign right there. Um, so let's see if this works. Uh, where the hell is the remote for my TV? Oh, 
Shit. Okay. Turn on my TV. Alright. Light's still blinking. Okay, it's done blinking. Powering on the web TV. Boom, 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 boom. We should see Hack TV logo. Yeah! So that was a successful um, successful install. Congratulations. That's how you modify your uh, web TV with the Hack TV custom build. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next crappy tutorial. Bye.